it's Sarah and I wanted to share real quick with you guys the um, I finished the ATCs that Lisa had sent me from your ATC story remember I did the Halloween one with you guys and oh by the way Katie Hayes left a comment look Katie I put the little piece of trim that was left I cut a little piece of the trim here and I was like well anyway She's like, why don't you put it on the hat? And so I did, and it's perfect on the hat. So anywho, these are the kits that you can get. I'm going to share the ephemera pack that I got as well. These are the kits that you can get from your ATC store online. Um, Lisa was kind enough to send me, I think she sent me August, September, October, oh, July, August, September, October. Um, July, August, September, October, yeah. So, one of these is July and one's August, I forget. Anywho, um, I did these off camera. It, it just takes too long. You guys know the process by now, but literally, you can make an ATC in, you know, well, as fast or as slow as you want, because I'm very slow because I can't make decisions, but Lisa includes everything you need so that you don't have to think too much. And I just love that. And look how cute. Look at the stuff she sends. Look at this trim. This daisy trim is in, it's just the cutest thing ever. She also sent beads. So there are gonna be things that you might not use in your, that she sends in the kit as well. But it's, it's all up to you. And that's why we could all make one and they would all turn out different. So, and oops a daisy. Just FYI, I'm gonna throw it out there, but the, the, she prints her, um, sentiments out probably with um, ink that is not a permanent ink so if you add wetness to it it will run and it's kind of ironic because it's oopsie daisy so I put some Wink Estella on there and it kind of made the black run a little bit but I still love it I think it's actually perfect because uh, it's an oopsie daisy but the images that she uses are so cute and then I just put a little stickles on there you know, so for the most part, and then these little beads, these seed beads, she sent in the kit, and I just glued them in the center of the daisies. She usually all, pretty much always sends a charm, like an actual metal charm and a brad. Um, lots of different papers that you can use. I have the scraps. I saved the scraps. Then this one's called Girls Gone Shopping. And there were a couple different papers that I could have used, and I chose, this one has shoes on it, which you can't really tell because um, it had a shoe charm and then I, I fussy cut out this image and then I tend to have a style when I do it I like to put trims kind of at least on two or three sides of the the ATC and then I back the images with some of the blend, the plain cardstock well plain color cardstock and you know so that's just my style I like to pop up the sentiments um, or pop up like I popped up that little image of the this girl so that's the girls going shopping and then this one I made two ATC's from one kit using a few of my own supplies so this one pretty much used is all the supplies that she sent the only thing I changed it out for was this her, the trim she used was thicker it was like a thicker gold trim and it I just couldn't fit my popped up air balloon, um, hot air balloon. I thought it, I don't know, I just didn't think it went, and so I put my own. But that's your preference. But everything else is, I cut the trims again. See how I like, I don't know why I do it that way. But I wanted to make another one, so, because I have, I do have lots of gears and cogs. This is actually, I wanna say, one of you guys sent me a beautiful gift of all these different gears. Um, so the two trims and then the gears were from my my own stash. I did a, a tone on tone stamping on this paper, but it didn't come out as dark as I'd hoped with like a steampunky background stamp. And then I fussy cut out the wings and this hot air balloon from another piece of paper from the um, kit. And then I used a rub off to put Imagine Possibility. And then I ended up with two... ATCs from that one kit just using a few of my own supplies so I just wanted to share them um, those of you who don't know I'm sorry I always forget to say this because some of you don't know but an ATC is 
an artist trading card. And they are two and a half by three and a half inches. They're the size of a baseball card and you can collect them and trade them. Um, keep them in those um, sleeves you can buy to collect them and hold them. And Lisa always sends a sleeve, a little individual sleeve along with the kits as well. Uh, because I have a bunch of her ATCs in this box that I painted. But these are all kits that I've done for from Lisa's ATC store. Uh, I'm trying to think if I did. Oh, here's another steampunk one. And I'll bet you all that stuff was from the kit. I can't remember, but um, anywho. All right, I want to show you what's in the, let me go back up so I don't freak anybody out. Um, what's in this ephemera? It says vintage ephemera book sheets and more. So if you go to your atcstore.com, you will see a lot, a wide range of supplies that you can use to create all types of things. You don't have to just make ATCs. Um, like when I did this little. ATC bo uh, box for to hold my Halloween ones. You know, you need little doodads and like these little buttons and sequins and all types of things. And Lisa has a great selection, especially of charms. I think she has some of the best um, charms in her kits. They're really awesome. So let's see what's in this ephemera kit. And this was a class that I took. I made this little ATC box. So let's see what's in here. It looks like there's another kit in there too. So if you're doing art journaling or collage and things like that, all you need is one of these kits. So let's see. And this one's called the Vintage Ephemera Book Sheets and More. So this looks like it's a vintage ATC for sure. It has a bunch of different, like, what looks like old game pieces, ticket stubs. There's um, a round or a spiral paper clip. These are just paper punched, like, flower shapes from different maps. Look, it's a puzzle piece. Ticket stubs, stamps. So this is all vintage ephemera. OMG, these are like vocabulary cards that you would maybe test your kids with and words, words, words. So this is like a card. Let's see if this is two and a half. Two and a half, a little bit bigger than two and a half by three and a half. So that's a vintage ATC with all like little vintagey. Maybe that's just m meant to be little bits and pieces, not necessarily ATC, so you get pictures. These are so precious. A postcard. The Legend of L Linen Kugels. It looks like they have shovels. Linen Kugels was a favorite in the large lumbering communities in Chippewa Falls. Lumberjack said it took a special beer to attract 2,500 men to a town with no women. Ha <laughs> ha That's so freaking funny. I wonder if there's a date. This is 2008. So I'm sure it's a, like a recreation. Doily. Um, this is a dictionary. I mean, you, I can't tell if it's a dictionary, but it's different size fonts, different texture paper, an old check or a receipt. That looks like a that looks like a that looks like a check actually. So tons of vintagey looking book pages. Different languages. This looks like German. Definitely looks German. Wow, this looks Oh man, this looks Russian, or I don't even know. Let me, I can't think of that. I can't think of that kind of font, what that looks like. 
Lots of ledger pages, little kids reading books. I recognize some of those. They were from when I was a kid. So definitely vintage. I mean, amazing. So I'm all set. It's from a cookbook, right? Um, this looks like a catalog and a little bit of architecture. Different catalogs and ledger pages. The Advance Against Richmond. So a book, maybe more of an atlas or um, a school book. Ooh, a glacier picture. Katzschital. This is different language. This looks like German. Oh, botany, right? Music. Different colors, too. So they look older. This looks like a, um, an archaeological, like, swim dig thing. Jesse James, like a comic book. Yeah, Hungary. This is a Czechoslovakia and Hungary and Austria map. Different geography stuff. This could be a catalog. Um, this is definitely, um, what am I saying? Like a pattern for sewing. And this again looks like German to me. Music, probably hymnal stuff. Look at this beautiful map, all that color. I love to use those in collage. Music, more music notes. Like a catalog for, um, what is that? tools and stuff. This has a more shiny texture to it. So tons. Oh, good. Good. These pictures are good. So lots and lots of different color, size, texture, fonts, vintage papers. Look at this. Looks like an old test. So that is what is in the Vintage. So yeah, I'm just thinking she put this isn't necessarily meant to make an ATC. Yes, you could make an ATC with this stuff, but I think it's just the small bits and pieces that she wanted to include in a vintage um, vintage collage sheet type kit. All right, you guys. So I'll put this away off camera. These little, um, what is this? It's not vellum, but it's like a plastic bag type thing. has a little sticky envelope pocket kind of thing to it. So it's like, um, looks like a bingo chip. Wouldn't you use those for a game or a bingo chip? Anyway, so that's what comes in that. So go over to your ATC store sometimes, you guys. Check it out and make some ATCs. They're awfully fun. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.